all your code is tested and all your tests are clean. And still, you're now at the point where you cannot possibly continue. To finish the feature you are working on, to reach your goal, you would have to change all your code and that would break all or most of your tests. You cannot continue where you are now, you wrote yourself into a corner. What do you do now? Sometimes we go down the wrong path. We get stuck. This can happen with any approach to software development and it also sometimes happens with test-driven development. You are watching part 5 of an 8-part series on the first two steps of test-driven development, the steps red and green. My name is David and among other things I teach test-driven development to teams and developers. So, when you end up in a place where you cannot easily continue, you have two options. You could either try to change direction slowly, or you can take steps back. Changing direction slowly would mean refactoring. You change the tests a little, change the code a little, then the tests again, then the code again, and you try to keep the tests green all the time while you're doing Taking steps back would mean delete some code, delete some tests. Undo your changes until you end up at the point in time where changing direction would be easy again. So how did we even end up in that bad place? When we do TDD, then we try to split a large pro problem into small steps and we break down the problem into these steps as we go. We do not really plan all the steps ahead. That would be too expensive and ineffective most of the time. So we change direction as we go and we even make up new steps as we go. And this works surprisingly often. But sometimes it does not. And when it does not, then we end up in a place where reaching our original goal has become harder than it was an hour ago or a day ago. And when we end up there, our instinct as programmers is to move forward. Debug our code. Add more tests. Do not throw away any tests. Debug the tests. Change the tests. Finish with the current design. We've spent so much time on it. But most of the time, this is the wrong approach we are falling for the sunk cost fallacy. So our two options are changing direction slowly or taking steps back. But changing direction slowly, refactoring our code and tests is also a way forward. So it is also often a waste of time. What about going back? Just revert what you did. Delete some tests and code. Try to get back to a place where things looked better and then start over again. But how can that be cheaper? You're throwing away code and doing the work twice, right? Yes, you did throw away your code. You did throw away your work, but you kept the learnings. Maybe write your learnings down when you want to keep them. And then when you solve the same problem for the second time, you will be much faster than the first time. But when you want to be able to go back easily, you need some save points. Like in a video game where you save your progress so that you have a save game that you can go back to when something goes wrong. So commit often. You can commit every time your tests are clean. Use that and don't worry about the long list of commits you can squash them before pushing. So to conclude, throwing away your tests and code is sometimes or even often cheaper than trying to get out of a bad situation by only moving forward. So if you wrote yourself into a corner, don't try to move forward. When something you tried did not work out, consider going back. And do not be afraid of deleting tests and production code.
So, when you were in a situation like that the last time, how did you get out? What are your strategies of dealing with getting stuck or going down the wrong path? Please tell me in the comments of this video or tell me on Twitter, I am Dtancer there. And if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends and followers. That would be really awesome. Thank you.